You're almost there. It's time to fill your tank. But what do you fill it with? If you escaped your tank with live rock, you have to fill your tank with salt water. Otherwise, you'll kill all the beneficial bacteria on the live rock. If you escaped your tank with dry rock, you can fill your tank with fresh or salt water. Even if you use salt water, you're still going to use fresh water to make that salt water, and what kind of fresh water you use is important. You've got two choices. RODI water, purified tap water. Note that distilled water isn't a good choice as it can be condensed on copper coils, which means a higher presence of copper in the water. Copper kills invertebrates, so you don't want that. If you could be 100% sure the distilled water isn't condensed on copper coils, then you could use it, and over the years, I found the condensation method of distilled water nearly always is not known. Tap water can work, and there are some key trade-offs to using it. Tap water is easily accessible. I bet everyone watching this video has access to tap water. No special equipment is needed to get tap water. Just turn on the faucet and voila, water. Some tap water is very clean. The total dissolved solids in water is low, and surprisingly parts of New York City have really clean tap water. Okay, so why not use tap water? The unknowns. Certain parameters of tap water can change without notice. As long as your tap water is within certain parameters, then your water provider doesn't have to let you know that anything has changed. For example, sterilization methods can change, and you're not going to know about it. Then if that causes problems in your reef tank, you're not going to know until you notice the problems and then work backwards to figure out that it's your tap water. With water from an RODI unit, you have control. Now what's RODI water? It's reverse osmosis deionized water. RODI water is made with an RODI unit, which passes water through a series of purification filters and then through a reverse osmosis membrane to further purify the water. As a final stage, water is passed through deionization resin. RODI units are readily available and come in zero automation flavor, all the way to highly automated flavor like the one I use, the SpectraPure 200 gallons a day ultra high efficiency unit. It automatically makes water when the reservoir is low, and it automatically shuts itself off when the water reservoir is full. It also automatically flushes the RO membrane, which makes for a longer lasting membrane. To install an RODI unit, you just need a water source such as the cold water side of a sink and a drain for the wastewater. Easy! As long as you change the filters on an RODI unit, the water coming out of it will be pure and you know you're getting pure water into your tank. Pure water helps you avoid coral bleaching, unexplained fish deaths, and algae outbreak. A lot of local fish stores sell RODI water, so there is that option if you don't want your own RODI unit. Pro tip, if you walk into your local fish store to buy RODI water, you're very likely going to buy more than just RODI water. That's not completely a bad thing, and you've been warned. For my clients and I, the cleanliness of the water going into our saltwater tanks is very important to us. For my tank and my clients' tanks, we only use RODI water. If you're using live rock on your tank, you're going to need to fill your tank with salt water with a salinity of 35 ppt. You'll need to buy enough salt water to fill your tank or mix this salt water outside your tank and then add it to your tank. If you've got the space for a mixing station or a lot of patience to mix up salt water five gallon buckets at a time, go for it. If you're using dry rock, then you can simply add the RODI water to your tank. That's as easy as putting the output line from your RODI unit into your tank, clamping it off for safety, and then letting the unit run until the tank is full. Note that this process can take days, so I recommend taking bets on how long it will take to fill your tank. Once your tank is full, it's time to check for leaks. Thank you.